trawling is an efficient and low impact method of commercial fishing that allows Kiwis to enjoy a wide variety of tasty, quality fish in abundance. In fact, 70% of fish consumed locally is harvested via the trawl method. That's the fish you cook and eat on a regular basis, species like snapper, hawkey and cod. And just like any kind of large-scale food production, trawling has some impact. But it might not be quite what you think. Trawling nets are highly technical pieces of equipment designed to be efficient, effective and have limited impact on their surroundings. A trawling net is made up of several components, each with a specific purpose. There are warps, doors, sweeps, bridles, the ground rope, floats, wings and the cod end. Let's dive into what each of them do. The warps attach to the boat from the doors and tow the net through the water. The doors are designed to spread the net and keep it open. Together, the warps, sweeps, bridles and doors act as herders, guiding fish into the net. Ground ropes are attached to the bottom leading edge of the net and run lightly across the sea floor, sweeping up fish right at the bottom and gathering them into the net. The doors, sweeps and ground rope are the only parts of the trawl rigging that make contact with the seabed. Floats hold the top of the net up and open and help it fly through the water rather than dragging across the seabed. Our nets are valuable assets that we don't want snagging on underwater objects, so we aim to touch the bottom as little as possible and avoid fishing in areas that are rocky or have coral reefs. The cod end is where fish of the right species and size are harvested and contained. On that subject, modern nets are designed to be highly selective of the fish they harvest and bycatch has been significantly reduced as a result. Net technology is constantly improving, with the goal of reducing or removing negative impacts to fish and the environment. Since the 1990s, we've made significant changes to net design and construction to aid in this. One of these initiatives is making net openings smaller in some fisheries. We've done this by tweaking the configuration of our nets to create a shorter, more oval-shaped opening that's only around one metre high. This is significantly smaller than the four to five metre openings seen on nets elsewhere in other fisheries. This has helped us to be more targeted in how we fish, which helps to keep stocks sustainable. It also minimises unwanted catch, like undersized fish and protected species. Another update is that we now use more lighter materials and components in our ground rigs and nets, and we minimise use of weights. This allows the net to travel across the seafloor easier, and with the lighter footprint compared to the heavier, more damaging equipment used in the past. We've also redesigned our mesh and re-looked at how our nets are designed. Overall, mesh is significantly larger than that used in the past. The shape and the angle of the mesh and knots has also been refined, all with the goal of providing larger openings that stay open. The goal here is twofold. Firstly, these larger openings help to self-sort fish of the right size before they reach the boat. Smaller juvenile fish can escape through these openings in the net to mature and spawn and keep population numbers healthy. And secondly, these openings allow better water flow into and through the net, creating more space and minimising harm to the fish that are caught. The material we use for our ropes has also been updated to be stronger and lighter. Some now use Dyneema instead of wire for ground ropes, sweeps and bridles. It's stronger and lighter than wire, so it lasts longer and is easier to tow, both of which contribute to our reduced impact on the environment. 
Net evolution and improvement is something we're 100% dedicated to, and there are some exciting ideas and innovations already in use. We're using net-mounted cameras and state-of-the-art technology to identify fish going into the net, giving real-time data of exactly what's in there. And using smart sensors attached to the net, we can receive information on its performance in live time, allowing us to spot issues and make adjustments to its configuration on the go. Beyond our nets, there are other ways we ensure we're fishing sustainably and protecting sensitive marine environments. Where we fish plays a part. We only ever fish in approved locations where we know certain fish species are abundant and sustainably managed. And we typically return to the same grounds each season, which minimises the effects of bottom trawling to controlled areas. We're proud to use technology and stringent reporting to be as efficient and low impact as possible in this environment. In fact, 90% of New Zealand's exclusive economic zone has never been trawled, and roughly 31% of our exclusive economic zone is permanently closed to trawling, dedicated to marine protection areas with high levels of ocean biodiversity. There is no benefit for anyone in not protecting our ocean and its resources. It's in the best interests of the commercial fishing industry, the country's economy, and the everyday Kiwis who enjoy the fish we catch to protect and improve sustainable fish stocks in healthy ocean environments. Fisheries are extremely abundant in New Zealand and our industry is one of the world's most responsible. We're working to keep it that way. <laughs>